So, do you want to fix something to an outside wall and you're unsure whether to drill into the brick or the mortar? Well, today on Fix with Fowler, I'm going to show you the best place to drill and why. Okay, so first things first, before you come to actually drill the wall, you're gonna need a few bits of kit. The first thing you need is a drill to actually drill the wall, and that could be a combi drill, an SDS drill, or a mains drill. Doesn't matter which you choose, but you need to choose the right fixings for what you're going to fix to the wall. So if it's something heavy, you're gonna need a big heavy duty plug, and obviously the screws or the bolts to go with it. Now in this case, I'm just putting up a small hanging basket bracket, so I've gone for these Fisher Duo Power raw plugs and these take a 6mm bit, it tells you on the box a 6mm bit and also on the side it tells you what size screw to use and on these they're 4.5mm by 40mm deep. So I've got a normal 6mm drill bit to allow me to drill into the brick. So when brick walls are constructed they normally lay the bricks, lay a bed of mortar and then lay the next brick on top and the idea is that in between the bricks you end up with a solid bed of mortar now that is not always the case so as you can see here there's a gap in the mortar and not as you look around you see more now if you was to drill in there or anywhere in the mortar what can happen is behind you can have a cavity like a void so you drill put your plug in and actually it's not gripping anything so the best thing is not to drill in the mortar at all what you really need to do is drill into the brick. Now, the way these bricks are constructed, modern bricks is three holes. So what you're actually looking for on the brick is to avoid these holes if you can. Depending on the, t on the size of your fixings, I would always recommend to go either a third in one end or a third in the other. If you avoid the edges of the brick, you're less likely to crack it and you'll end up with a good fixing. So let's get on and drill a fixing. So some drills have a depth gauge and that allows you to drill to a certain depth to match your plug size or your screw size and that can be really helpful. However, on this drill I've not got such a feature so what I've done is I've got the raw plug, held it up to the actual drill bit and then I've put some tape around the drill bit as a rough guide. Now I've just gone a little bit deeper than the raw plug and that's to allow it to sit in in case there's dust or anything actually in the hole. So that's a really simple way to ensure that you drill the right depth and don't go all the way through the brick. Okay, so if you're using a combi drill like this, a drill driver, then what you need to do is look at the top of the drill and that's for screwing, drilling or hammer drill. So we want to turn that to hammer drill. And then if you set the speed to number two, then that's set up right to drill the hole in the wall. So the next thing you need to do is mark your hole and then we can drill. Okay, so once you've drilled your hole, the next thing to do is insert the wall plug. So like I said, these are Fisher Duo wall plugs, the right size for the right hole. So if you push them in, you can see that's quite tight. So you just need to tap that in with a hammer, get that flush with a brick, and then that's nice and secure. So the next thing is to pick the right size screw for your raw plug. And these are 4.5 mil screw which is exactly the right size for that now if you go bigger it'll be a real tight fit and you can snap the screw if you use an impact driver the other thing is you can get the screw stuck so the right screw for the right plug now i've got a makita uh, impact driver but you could use just use the drill driver or a screwdriver so just to show you how strong these are now that's all the way in and I'm just going to show you how well they grip by using the claw hammer. So if we were going to pull this out, what we do is get that, slide it over the screw, and then we try and pull that out. I'm really struggling to move that. And that's because we've used the right plug for the right screw and the right size hole. 
Now, if we were to do the same thing in the mortar, that would just pull straight out. So if we we're fixing something with a little bit of weight, there's every chance that it'd come off the wall. That's the fixing all in, and that's the video finished. So hopefully you found that useful and helpful, and you now know never to drill into the mortar if you're doing a fixing. So the most important thing, make sure you're using the right plug, the right size hole, and the right screw. And if you follow all those three rules, you'll end up with a really solid fixing. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, don't forget, click on the link below, give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment and stay tuned for more great DIY videos.